In the previous video, we talked about poliomyelitis and how it paralyzes the muscle. And in this video, we'll, we are going to talk about post-polio syndromes and polio vaccinations. So, this is the muscle. And I am drawing three motor neurons. So, this is the motor neuron which is affected by the polio virus. And it cannot carry the signals. And the green motor neurons beside the polio affected neuron, these are the healthy motor neurons. They can carry the signals from the spinal cord to the muscle. And the blue one is the polio infected one. So the muscle connected to this neuron will supposed to be paralyzed. But when polio damages some motor neurons, other nearby healthy motor neurons form collateral branches that intervate the muscle that has lost the intervention. So the muscle which was supposed to be paralyzed is getting the signal from the helping healthy motor neurons. Now over time the natural process of aging causes the motor neurons to die. When the healthy motor neurons die, which were helping the polio infected muscle, the muscle will again show the polio symptoms in the old age because the healthy helping motor neurons are not capable of helping anymore. The appearance of the polio symptoms in the old age to the persons who had poliomyelitis before is called the post polio syndrome. Now we will talk about the polio vaccinations. There are two types of polio vaccinations available. Uh, number one is called the Sabine vaccine and the second one is the Sac vaccine. These two are different kinds of vaccinations but both are for poliomyelitis disease. So let's see the differences between Sac and Sabine. So the Sabine vaccine is the oral vaccine and the Sac vaccine is injected into the body. The Sabine vaccine is also called OPV or oral polio vaccine and the Sac vaccine is also called IPV or inactive polio vaccine. So what is a vaccine? A vaccine can be the killed virus or can be the weakened or attenuated virus or can be the toxin of that so that it can act as an antigen inside the body. So when we inject that vaccine inside our body, that cannot cause the disease but it acts as an antigen to the body and the body recognizes it and makes antibody for it and now the body is prepared with the antibodies to fight with the real virus and kill the real virus with their antibodies easily and the third difference between sabine and sac vaccine is the sabine vaccine the virus is used is the live attenuated virus and in the SARC vaccine, the virus used is the killed virus or the dead virus. Sabine vaccine was developed by Albert Sabine. And it is named after him. And the SARC vaccine was developed by Jonas Sack. And it is also named after him. The Sabine vaccine is quite cheap. And the SAC vaccine is quite costly. So, Sabine vaccine can be used in large scales. And the sixth difference between Sab SAC and Sabine is Sabine works in humoral and cell-mediated immunity, but SAC works on the humoral immunity only.